Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel Zero Web. In this video, I will be explaining the angle sum property of polygons. First of all, we will see the angle sum property of triangles. The angle sum property of triangle states that the interior angles of a triangle adds up to 180 degree. That is, the interior angles of the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degree. Right? Every triangle has three angles. Whether it is acute, obtuse, right angle triangle, the sum of interior angles should be always 180 degree. Let us consider triangle ABC and small letters A, B, C are the corresponding angle measures. Okay. Then by angle sum property of a triangle, we can say that A plus B plus C equal to 180 degree. Right? Then what would be the sum of interior angles of other polygons? First of all, we will consider quadrilateral. Okay. Let's A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. Okay. And if we are drawing if a diagonal B, D. Then this diagonal BD divides this quadrilateral into two triangles. One is triangle ABD and the other is triangle BCD. If we are considering the angles of this triangle ABD are small letter A, B and D. Okay. Then by angle sum property of triangle we know that A plus B plus D equal to 180 degree. We can name it as equation number 1. Right? And if we are considering the angles of triangle BCD are L, M and N respectively. Then according to the angle sum property of triangle what we can say? L plus M plus N equal to 180 degree. We can consider this as equation 2. Then what would be the sum of interior angles of this quadrilateral ABCD? Sum of angles of quadrilateral ABCD equal to what would be? First is A plus B plus L, this angle is B plus L. B plus L plus M plus D plus N. Right? Yes. Now we can rearrange the RHS of this equation. Then it becomes A plus B plus this D we can take here. A plus B plus D plus L plus M plus yeah, isn't it? That is A plus B plus D from 1. Equation 1 we know that it is 180 degree plus L plus M plus N is 180 degree from equation 2. That is 2 into 180 degree which is equal to 360 degree. Right? So, the sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. Then what would be the sum of interior angles of a pentagon? We can consider a pentagon. Okay, this is a pentagon. And we can name it as A, B, C, D, E. Right? Now, if we are considering... The diagonals B and 
B. These diagonals divide this pentagon into three triangles. Right? There would be three triangles. Triangle ABE, triangle EBD, triangle DBC. Right? That is, this is first triangle, second triangle, third triangle. Isn't it? By angles of property of a triangle, we know that sum of interior angles of pentagon equal to sum of the interior angles of these three triangles, right? Sum of the interior angles of first triangle equal to 180 degree plus sum of interior angles of second triangle is again 180 degree and third is also 180 degree which is equal to 3 into 180 that is 540 degree. And if we are considering a hexagon there should be 3 uh, diagonals and these three diagonals divide the hexagon into four triangles. Okay. And the sum of interior angles of a hexagon equal to 4 into 180. That is 720. Okay. In the case of hexagon it would be 4 into 180. That is 720. So in this way we can find out the sum of interior angles of all the polygons. Now can you make any relation from the sum of interior angles of these polygons? First of all, in the case of triangle, triangle is a three sides, a three sided figure. Okay, so it is 180 degree. Isn't it? And in the case of a quadrilateral, Quadrilateral is a figure having four sides. Isn't it? It is 2 into 180 that is 360 degree. Clear? Now in the case of a pentagon, pentagon is a polygon having five sides. Right? So the sum of interior angles of a pentagon is 3 into 180 degree which is equal to 540 degree. And here in the case of hexagon having 6 sides. The sum of interior angles equal to 4 into 180 that is 720 degree. Here you can see in a triangle, triangle having 3 sides. So, if we are considering 3 minus 2 into 180 degree. 3 minus 2 that is number of sides minus 2 into 180 degree is 1 into 180 degree that is 180 degree. And in the case of a quadrilateral having 4 sides we can write it as 4 minus 2 into 180 degree that is 2 into 180 degree. And in the case of a pentagon having 5 sides, we can write it as number of sides 5 minus 2 into 180 degree. That is 3 into 180 degree. And in the case of a hexagon, we can write it as number of sides 6 minus 2 into 180 degree. That is 4 into 180 degree equal to 720. So, in any polygon, we can find the sum of interior angles by n minus 2 into 180 degree. This is the formula for finding the sum of interior angles of a n-sided polygon. n is the number of sides of the polygon. If n is given, then we can find the sum of interior angles of the polygon.